What's up everybody? Evan here with Evan's Detailing and Polishing. Uh, sitting here is a drive wheel mounted on a truck. Uh, everybody's been asking me to redo some of these old videos. So this one I'm going to redo and do a little more in depth. So as long as you're liking these in-depth videos, thank you Ty, yep. um, they're going to be longer. So if you're looking for the shorter videos, just get on into it videos. Um, we have a bunch of those as well as you guys know, just check out my channel, you'll find the, the quicker videos, the shorter videos. This one's going to be a lot longer. So we're going to get a lot more in-depth on how we do it. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Uh, we got an orange buff, we got a yellow, we got some brown compound, we got some green compound. You guys all know most of the stuff I do is two steps. Uh, I try to keep it as simple as possible for everybody. Uh, we got some Evans glass cleaner here. Can you see that? Everybody asks what I prep my wheels with. It's dirty, but it's not like filthy. If it was filthy, I'd wash it, but since it's not bad, I'm just going to spray a little bit of glass cleaner on there so I can get the dirt and mud off. Uh, this is a pumper truck. Um, of course, as you guys know, the, I always jack the wheels up and spin them. If you can see this here, I got the wheel lifted up off the ground so I can spin it. I feel like I can get a lot more even pressure. Of course, if I'm buffing like this or like this, I'm going to be a whole lot less comfortable than if I'm doing it down here. Now, this is a 22.5. This is one of the tightest wheels you'll ever work on. 22.5 on a drive wheel is going to be a lot tighter than a 24.5 on a trailer wheel or something like that. You're going to have a lot more room on that than you will on this. So all I did was spray it off and wiped it. Now you're going to notice I'm not going to polish in between the lug nuts. That's going to strictly be done by hand. Only way to properly do that is to jam a buff in there and burn out a ton of product and wear out your grinder or pull the wheel off and do it and then put it back on. Uh, in this application, the work truck, the guy just wants to get it back on the road and he wants it looking nice. We're just going to bang through it real quick and uh, just give it a quick hand polish in between the lug nuts. We'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, but I'm going to bring it in a little closer so you can actually kind of watch my pattern and my technique. Um, and I'll kind of stop and explain part way through it. Like I said, if you're not prepared for this to be a longer video, go back out, grab our shorter video on how to polish a drive wheel. It's about three to four minutes long. It'll show you how to do it, just do it without explaining it. For those of you that are looking for more in depth, this is your video. So I'm gonna bring you in close. I'm gonna strap up my respirator and we're gonna get started. Here we go.
All right, so doing the back wall on a 22.5 is definitely not the easiest thing in the world to do. But as you can see, we're already starting to get some shine through in here. Um, now, you can see that the water ring here, I didn't get touched yet, and around the valve stem didn't get touched. A lot of that, we're gonna blend that up with hand polish. So what we're gonna do is now that we did the whole center, I'm gonna cut the outside. I always do the center first. In case the grinder hits the outside, I wanna be able to sand it and touch it up without having to mess up again when I go to do the center. So now that we've cut the whole entire center, the center is just gonna get hand polished from here on out, but the outer lips, we're gonna cut them and color them. You might ask, why do I only color the outside part? I only color the outside part because that's the only part that sunlight gets into. If you watch the video on how to, or why we color and why we cut the way we do, to me, color is just something that turns the lights on. So if I color here and the sunlight reflects off it, it's gonna make the center look colored. It's just my own personal thoughts. I don't know if there's any truth to that. It's just the way I've done it for years and it's the way that I've found most effective. So now I'm gonna cut and then I'm gonna color the outer part. I'm gonna orange and brown, and then I'm gonna yellow and green it. I'm bringing it in close again so you can see it. Follow along. All right, so we got it cut. Now we're just gonna color it. And like I said, I'm just going to color this outer lip here. I'm not making a show wheel here. It's just an average work truck. The only difference between doing a work truck and making them look nice and making them look show finish is pulling them off, sanding them, buffing in the water rings, making this thing absolutely smooth. Difference is about doubling the price. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color this outer lip and take a watch. So it's as simple as that. You literally just cut that back wall first, and I cut on this side first so I can get my buff tight up against the lug nuts. 
And once I get all the way around the lug nuts done, I flip over to this side, as you saw, and then I cut on this side so I can kind of let the head of the buffer hit into the hub. And then I fill in all the way to the water ring as tight as I can get. And then I cut this outside part. As you saw, I broke it up into sections so I was laying compound on. As soon as I got done laying compound on, I came back and I just erased all the excess compound. And then I came back and colored. And I only colored straight in. So this wheel actually turned out really nice. Let me zoom in here a little bit. That's what it looked like before. And this is what it looks like after. So we'll do some hand polish here. Where's Ty at? Where you at, buddy? Ty? Yes? You wanna come hand polish this wheel? Yeah. Show these guys how you do it. <coughs> and let the actual guy that knows what he's doing in that department do it. And I'll switch over to this wheel. It's a leaker. So, Alright, Ty's gonna hand polish down in that water ring. He's gonna try not to touch the outer part that we already colored. I'm going to hand polish the whole entire back wall after he's done with the valve stem area. And we're not scrubbing, we're just simply wiping to clean off. Whatever your favorite hand polish is, it's a personal preference thing. Whatever hand polish you feel like using is definitely what's best for you. Now we use wax applicator pads for everything. And what he's doing is he's simply just using two fingers to push in around the lug nuts. There you go. I'm going to come back with a white cotton terry cloth towel and wipe it off. And while he's doing that, I'm going to start this next wheel so you guys can see in real time how quick it goes. So we don't make this video 30 minutes long, we only make it 20 minutes long. So while he's wiping that one off, I'm going to get started. Let me see on there.
there. Now, as you can see over here, the wheel looks good. Good and blended up, nice and polished. Looks great. And that's all there is to it. This video ended up being about, uh, I think, just shy of 15 minutes long. So, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed these videos. Um, like I said, I know some of you are looking for some shorter videos. We do have shorter how-to videos that just get straight into it, don't really explain anything. Um, but for those of you that stuck around to the end of the video, I'm going to give you a little nugget. When you're doing the back wall, it's all about the angle of your buff. So if your buffer isn't laying in the wheel, you don't have the angle you want. If it's jumping around and all over the place, it means your angle's not right. Get your buffer in as far as you can get and buff as much of it as you can. For those of you that stuck around to the end, I appreciate you. For those of you that have subscribed to this channel and dropped comments, I truly appreciate you guys and thank you guys for all that. And Ty and I here at Evan Seat Selling and Polishing, thank you guys and we'll see you next time.